What is going on everyone and welcome back to more Black Desert. So today was a pretty interesting day in terms of news and I wanted to talk about it. So today was patch day as well as the season end on uh, PC at least. So the one thing we're going to be talking about is the offhand buff. So a lot of you guys probably watched a few streamers, another few videos on uh, what's going to be changing. And so I wanted to talk about it and tell you what's happening so as you guys know right now the green offhand that we all know as like the best in the slot for pve is going to be changed now it's not necessarily that anything is getting nerfed but you see how this item has special attack 10 percent at the bottom of the stats right so if you were to put this into like garmoth or some sort of damage calculator it actually outperforms uh, like a black star and Kudum at pen and so that's why people are using it so that's why we made a video like uh, at least a month or two ago talking about how this is better so what's going to be changing in the future is this 10 percent that has been added so the way you would do it normally is let me just show you it's real quick so this green weapon um you would be getting it to pen right and then you buy one of those enhancement upgrade thingies, this thingy. And so what this does is add to 10%. So that's why it was better. But then in the future, at least on the Korean patch notes right now, so it's not on the live servers for NA and EU right now, right? But all the other offhands, whether that's Nuver, Kudum, Blackstar, and some other ones, um, are also going to get that extra 10%. So that means the black star is going to be best in slot again for pve and then for pvpers obviously the nuver with the extra 10 percent is going to be best in slot again so what does that mean for you guys this is not on the na on eu servers right now i believe it's only on korea or at least they announced it in korea so um as you guys know a lot of people have heard the news already and that means People have been panic selling this, and there's like 60 of them listed at pen. Uh, do I regret making mine? No, not at all. I'm just going to put it on my other character once the changes go through. And it's just like one of those uh, monumental pieces that we made and just has my name on it. So do I regret it? No. But I know people right now are panicking and trying to buy a pen black star or like a maxed out Kudum or something. And I just wanted to let you know that it's really, like, yes, it's a good change, but it's not that bad. Like, 10% overall is good, but at the same time, like, if you're already at Kudum level, like Pen Kudum, C4, C7, 14, whatever, that 10%, it's not, like, it's not really worth converting your Kudum at C20 over to a Pen Black Star if you are just like you do casual grinding or something. Yes, it is better, but there is a little bit of a difference between maxed out Kudum and a Black Star. So if you look at the Kudum, I don't have one, but I've had one put before. What you would be trading off is a little bit of accuracy for a little bit more extra monster damage and we have a, a ap calculator or the ap caps for every monster zone so you guys can watch that and see what you're at and it, it helps a little bit but ultimately you know where you're at in terms of your stats and everything so make sure to just look at that if you're thinking about panic buying a pen black star right now um Trust me when I say it's not that bad. People are still going to list it. It's not like there's 30 orders. Let's actually go look at it on the market right now and uh, see what, what it's all about. I'm sure people probably bought some in a panic, but realistically, by the time the thing goes through, it's it's not that bad. So if you have one, you have one. If you don't and you still have like a tet or something, it's fine. So, yeah, like no one's even selling them. But trust me when I say... If you were trying to enhance or profit, it's still better to make the main hand an awakening weapon over the uh, sub weapons just because of that. And so that's why I wanted to talk about it. So what are some other like notable classes? Uh, 
Megu is pretty notable. Yeah, you like you can just just one sitting, you can just buy it if you wanted to. So I got pretty lucky. And I got my Black Star back before they raised the cap. So I mean I still spent a hundred billion on it. But it wasn't like oh, I'm spending 130 billion. It's not really that much of a difference. So just want to tell you guys, don't freak out. If you're planning on getting a pen black star in the future, it's not that big of a deal. And if you have a Kudum, fine. Upgrade whenever you can. It's not something worth uh, rushing to make. And in other news, we have some spots that got buffed and nerfed. So as you guys know, the best spot to look for artifacts is the Kratuga Ruins, which is uh, down like the lower levels of Hazar Cliff. And I wanted to show you that. So where, it, where would it be? I'm just going to search it up. So if you are looking for artifacts, uh, this is probably the best place to be for it just because it has a very high drop rate. And yeah, sure, it is a higher pool of it. But I think if you're looking for any one thing in particular, it's still better to be here just because higher drop rate and then you'll probably get it in a shorter amount of time. So what they did with this spot was uh, they made it so there are more monsters in the area. Obviously, that means more trash loot an hour, more drop rate, more clear speed, everything. So that's good. That was a good change. I don't think anyone asked for it, but <laughs> I'm glad it got buffed. And as you guys know, oh boy, the Sonal camp in Elvia, it got nerfed. So what they did in one week, it, it used to be when it first released that the spot was kind of mid. And then after that, they buffed it to the point where you're getting like a dumb amount of crystallized despairs an hour from like four to like 20 or 30 an hour, which is kind of nuts. And so, that's a wild thing. And then, after that, in one week, they lowered it again. Or actually today, they just lowered it. So, what they did was, the way it worked is you grinded the elite mobs, right? Or the, like, the special elites, I guess we'll call it. And then those had a very high drop rate of decrystallized despairs. And then they nerfed it to the point where just grinding your average thing, like doing the entire rotation is uh, overall buffed instead of just a special elite one. So basically, I think it's an overall good thing. Everyone agrees that Sonal's after the change, uh, after the crazy buff, it needed to be toned down because people were making like three bill an hour. Just that was an average hour. So we all agreed that it needed to be nerfed. And I think they did it in the right way where they nerfed the elites, but then they made the drop rate for like all the normal mobs to... Uh, like buff everything else so i think that was good so overall that's been like the news and the notable things obviously class buffs and changes happened as well so i just want to talk about that real quick and yeah so hopefully if you guys learned anything it's don't freak out yes the green things are they're not getting nerfed they're just not like uh, the other things are also getting the extra bonuses on the side which is um good so if you have a green one don't panic you could try selling it it's probably not going to sell but just put it on another character have another alt or something and then it'll be fine and if you have a kudum right now and you're thinking about getting a black star don't panic don't buy it at max price because people will still list them it's i personally don't think a pen black star is worth 140 billion uh, if you could buy it at like a hundred or minimum, it's probably fine, but it's uh, not something that people should panic over and I think you'll be okay. So with that said, thanks so much for watching guys. Hopefully you have a fantastic day. If you're new to your channel, hit that subscribe button. Would love to see you guys come back and uh, yeah, so that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow and hopefully we got some more cool news in the future.